Tozani Emakosini, Tamaku, thank you for joining me for another video. Before I commence on the spirits of Ubungoma, it is important for me to make this video um, so that we all understand what I mean by uh, power and what is God's power. So the definitions here I have of power is the ability or the capacity to do something or act in a particular way. In the second one, the authority that is given or delegated to a person or a body. So we understand, therefore, that prophets or sangomas are delegated with God's ability. Prophets and sangomas are delegated with God's capacity. You. In uh, one of the previous videos, in the Spirits of Light, um, I explained that power refers to the spirits of creation, spirits of water and the spirits of earth, as they have the, the um, ability to create and give birth. So here in Luke chapter 1 verse 17, it says, He will go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah. Okay, so it is the power, the type of power that Elijah had, meaning the type of um, uh, spirits delegating, um, God had delegated to Elijah specific spirits. Of course, this power is subject to the Most High, guys, the Creator. He preserves the earth by His wisdom. So it says here, he had made the earth by his power. He had established the world by his wisdom. So God has used power, meaning the spirits of creation, to create the earth. Okay, so therefore power is the creation spirits. It is, um, we know that this power belongs to God, as it says here in uh, Psalm 62, verse 11. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. So the spirits of creation, they belong to God. Okay, so I include fire as it is a spirit as well, uh, born out of the waters above, meaning in the firmament. And it is also possible, you must note, to, for one prophet or sangoma to possess um, all the spirits, depending on your journey and your purpose um, that God has uh, put you here on earth uh, for. So Romans chapter 1 says, For ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his Eternal power and divine nature has been clearly seen, being understood through the workmanship, all of his creation, the wonderful things that he has made, so that they are without excuse and without defense. Okay, so this is, so this um, power, this is the power that God endows um, a sangoma and a prophet he has delegated the authority of dominion on this earth to his prophets for the betterment, okay, of his people. So Romans chapter 8 verse 19 says, For even the whole creation, all nature awaits eagerly for the children of God to be revealed, okay? So our connection to nature is real and it should not be taken lightly in any sense. So therefore we approach nature with reverence. It is the power of God revealed, manifested, understood within nature. Nature is not God, but um, there is the revelation of his working. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says, Be, um, Then God said, Let us 
make man in our image according to our likeness and let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle and over the entire earth and over everything that creeps and crawls on the earth. So the spirits of creation, they help us to exercise such a dominion. For what? For the betterment of people to heal. Being made, Makosi, in the image of God. These spirits are what help and assist us in having dominion um, in this earth and even um, in the spiritual realm, connecting with the kingdom. Exodus um, here, chapter 15 says, The Lord is my strength and my song. Uyingo Miami. Ubungoma and has become my salvation. This is my God and I will praise him, my father's God, my ancestor's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Ne? Okay, so with that being said, we when we look at history, we find nations of warriors and armies within our history, in our Bantu history just like in the Bible and over and over we are, um, it's revealed according to scripture that God is a warrior, a captain of the armies of heaven. Okay. So I say this because being God's portion in his image, just like God selected us to represent him, these spirits are embodied by either a person or a nation that God has assigned a certain gift or an office to. In the same way you have the Levites and the tri tribes named after the sons in the Bible. So here we have these men were once called from the congregation, the leaders of their father's tribes. Okay, so now um, when I explain, guys, the spirits of Ubungoma, as much as we are uh, the people of the book, I am simply putting, uh, pointing out characteristics and their um, functions the way I am taught. Yet we who have the spiritual treasure are like common clay, common clay pots in order to show the supreme power belongs to God and not us. Therefore, power is, God's power is... Um, the spirits that he used to create creation, I mean, to create the world that we see today. And Sangomas and prophets, they are delegated with that ability and that capacity.